I'm really excited. So I wanted to, to share that excitement with you and let you know why I'm shooting on film and why I think you should be shooting on film as well. Why I think every photographer should at some point shoot photos on film. So I got my hands on this Canon F1 and wanted to go test it out, shoot some film for the first time. So I went out on the PPVI trail, the bamboo forest with Anya and Tyler Stallman, kind of watching them and, and seeing how they work and do their, their shoots, but also being able to go and take some, some photos as well and see you know, what is it like to shoot on, on film? And so kind of all the, the BTS of me shooting was filmed by Tyler Stallman, uh, who I'm sure everybody is very familiar with. If you're not, I'll link his stuff uh, below. Go follow and subscribe to him. But yeah, I wanted to take you guys along on this little adventure to let you know how it was and to tell you that you should do the same thing. <laughs> But maybe we can we can dive into the camera that that I decided to pick up, and that was the Canon F1. It's an FD lens mount. I'm shooting on the 50 mil 1.2, and I'm also shooting on Portra 800 film. So it's a 35 millimeter film camera, and I picked it up for it's about like $400 for everything, lens included, uh, on eBay which I think was a good deal. I'm not too sure. I was happy with it. Let me know if that wasn't a good deal. And so this camera was made by Canon of Japan in 1971, and this first version went all the way up to 1981. It was super popular and considered this professional workhorse of a film camera and has this really cool removable viewfinder, which was another reason why I really wanted to get it, which we're gonna talk about later. But let's, let's dive in quick to, to the reasons why I think you should be shooting on film. And the first reason is that shooting on film forces you to just slow down. And I think I can get into the habit or photographers can get into the habit of just kind of this spray and pray method of, of shooting. Got what you want to shoot? And one of those is going to work out. I think it's easy to do that with digital, with autofocus. You can rapid fire a whole bunch of shots and hope one of them kind of turns out. With film, you gotta slow down. You have to take in the scene. It forces you to really look at what's going on and be able to appreciate the moment. Capture the big moment. Oh. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> how, do, how does it look? I think it looks cool. <laughs> I mean, I want to check the playback to look to the back of the camera though. That might have been what I loved about it the most, was just being able to appreciate the moment of, of what I was about to capture and, and really, really seeing and appreciating the scene that, that I was about to take a photo of. Which leads into the next reason to, to shoot film, and I think that it forces you to be intentional. So similar vein, but there's only, you know, 35, 36 shots that I can take uh, shooting on this, this roll of film. And so that really, again, forced me to slow down, but forced me to be more intentional what I was, with what I was actually shooting. So I couldn't just do a, a spray and pray kind of approach. Every shot had to be, had to have purpose and intention. And that really helped me to figure out what it was that I, I wanted to capture and what I wanted to create in these photos. Which brings us into the next reason why I think people should shoot on film is that I think it, it makes you a better photographer. It forces me to slow down, to be more intentional, to really think about what I'm capturing, why I'm capturing it, and that in turn makes me a better photographer. I can't just rely on autofocus or that kind of spray and pray technique. Um, I don't even know if it's, it's, I don't even know if you call it a technique. I mean, it's just a lazy habit. It really forces me to pay more attention to what I'm shooting and, and why I'm shooting it. The reasons behind 
you know, why this, this would make a good photo. So it, it takes me into an area where I think I can, I can grow as a photographer. And maybe just a, a quick word about the removable viewfinder. I thought that was one of the coolest parts about this, this camera. And it was a little tricky because you get kind of that mirrored effect. I can see a lot of really cool practical examples for, for why they had that. I think street photography, that would be perfect just to be able to shoot at the hip and get kind of shots without people seeing you bring the camera up to their eye and, and maybe, you know, distracting them. And, and even just for getting low shots as well, which are a few that I got, it came in handy and was, was super, super helpful. So, removable viewfinder, definitely a win. Ten. Ten photos. <laughs> oh, wow. You're gonna go through the whole roll. That's the plan. <laughs> I think another reason why I was really drawn to shooting on film was just the look of it. It's cool. <laughs> Maybe that's silly, but I think there's a reason why there's LUTs or presets that give that film look. They're trying to emulate what a film camera actually does. There's a specific characteristic and look and feel to film photography. Didn't look at the back this time. And so that kind of aesthetic drew me into it. I mean, it is kind of trendy and popular now, but I see the reasons behind it and why it is gaining in popularity again. So I was really excited just for that, just to get my hands uh, on this camera and be able to, to get that look in my photos as well. And I was really happy with how they turned out. I thought, I thought they looked awesome. So the last and final reason that I think everybody should shoot on film, why I decided to shoot on film was that, I mean, I said it in the beginning, it just brought this joy and excitement back into photography. I haven't been so excited in a long time to actually get these photos sent back to me to see everything that I took wondering, you know, did any of it turn out? Was the film okay? Is the camera okay? Does everything work? Is it gonna turn out the way that it looked in my head? And it just produced this kind of Christmas morning type experience and made me really excited about photography again. And so I think anything that can bring that enjoyment, that excitement back into creating is a positive thing. And I would recommend that for everybody. And so whether that's picking up a Canon F1, and maybe I'll, if you guys are interested in that, I can make a more in-depth review of what it's like shooting on this, because it's it was super fun shooting on it. But whether it's this camera or just a disposable camera, I think you should go out and experiment, have fun, just go out and shoot on film, because it was, it was an experience that I loved and would highly recommend to every single photographer, whether you're brand new or experienced. So let me know if you've ever shot on film. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, why or why not, I'd love to hear from you. As always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and comment and subscribe and all of that good stuff if you haven't already. It really does help and make a difference and I'll see you on the next video. Back down. <laughs> so. It's nice.